Looks like M46's last card was the Improvise. Improv. He's copied the deck, so we can double check that. Yep. Interesting. You can turn one of Yukihi's cards into a reaction, which is really good with hidden power. Really good, since you can dodge basically every attack that purple has with it. That's... yeah, that's really true. Um, and then you can return it to your hand if it's the right act. I think which uh, I think the only card that you can't always dodge with that is uh, polite return, isn't it? Yeah. The only downside is you could snipe it out with that Tokyo Perpetual Wind card, but purple didn't bring it. <laughs> so it looks like it will be very effective this match. Second downside is it eats all your hand. You need to hold on to both the improv and the attack. That's true. Right. Put turns on before they ask me to put turns on here. All right. Make sure I cover all these cards really quick. So yeah, this is going to Yeah, no, this is his deck. Any idea what's happening right now? I don't know. I think he feels like his draw order got messed up after I copy pasted his deck or something. So they're both reshuffling their decks and doing their starting hands over. That's uh, one way to remo again, I guess. Okay, like so. your starting hand, ask your opponent if you can't take another mall again. <laughs> okay. Looks like purple is keeping his starting hand this time, and M4 mold 2. Go ahead and hover these again really quick. Just to make sure we got it all covered for the austerity. There's the early 1-1 one, one global range attack. Yep, for an arrow effect. We will move forward with it and probably gonna step forward and hit with that 1-9 attack. Up, oh, there it is. Why do you step forward here? You want to dodge the song and vigor because oh, if that gets yeah. dodged, you will be very sad. And he's going with distance. Yeah, that's plot the standard plot you usually always start with. It's definitely much easier to do early on. Mm -hmm. Well, Purple has a choice if he wants to move forward two or more. Okay, it looks like he's choosing to run forward or not, I guess. 
Moose to range six and stops there. Oh, he's trying to song and dance the umbrella, but we'll see if that works, I think. Oh, that's a cool play. All right, goes down the green purple route. This lets you put a card to the bottom of your deck, and along with that 1 9 attack, you will get an extra draw before reshuffling. Goes forward to play around Song and Dance, and hits with a 3 1, which goes to life. Looks like he chooses to discard the Swing and Pierce. Moves forward to range 4, which is purple's best range, and then opens his umbrella. This will open up his forward dodge. Hmm. The forward dodge isn't particularly good for him, though, is it? Well, it lets him save one life against Glancing Strike, I guess. Well, he could also do that with backwards, though. Oh, but it purple took the shadow. Yeah, okay, I like that. Hey, there's the other one. They are both tied on life now. And this is where... You kinda wish you had Perpetual Wind, I guess. Or Vivacity. Or that. Discarding the... Discarding the rabbit step. step. No idea what... Mm, he okay. decides to sit at two vigor. Oh, that makes like, sense. Because he's got the play polite return. return or a glancing strike? That's hand. polite oh, return. That's a... I thought it was glancing strike at first, too. That play makes a bit more sense now. So, Paul knows that on the way has the plot attack in hand. And a card that was discarded earlier. Hmm. 46 is able to play around Polite Return by using the action first to advance to range 1. There it is. Now Polite Return is turned off. And you can get out another plot safely. Do you suppose Purple reacts to this with Song and Dance? There it is. Is that even good? Mm. It puts him back into his Polite return range, at least. Kyuki, he's gonna do any follow up attacks, though? I don't think so this turn either, but. I guess it's to keep his deck reshuffle even. There's also that concern. Purple is uh, very fixated on that. But the one or loss kinda hurts. Right, which plot is that? Life changed. There's life changed. Which means it will complete be completed at the end of M46's next turn, since both players will have to reshuffle. Wait, why is he advancing at this turn? Did a player's life change this turn? 
There we go. Did the player's life change that turn? No. Looks like they caught it. Wait, All right. it's still open umbrella. Blinding strike off the top, but no rabbit step. He My does have. turn is basically kind of rabbit step. Shh. And spend one vicar to go to range three, and uh, that's a polite return. I meant song and dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And song and dance from range three to range four. And getting glancing strike uh, on your first draw of the reshuffle is theoretically huge. Really good. Especially and... when you have the Yukihi reaction in the played pile. That's. Hmm. So there should be zero chance of Yuki and did purple just cover instead? Oh, uh, yeah, he did. Ah. It was perfect play since Yuki he will be aura locked five. I he's Feeling the terror of swaying flame or something. I guess, but it's five or rush. You he, he can't really advance. And you don't need to be <laughs> at five aura with song and dance in hand to play around that. Like Yuki he physically doesn't have enough resources to advance into swaying flame this turn. Mm. Except for chain reel. Since you need four to ten range up chain reel, because you're at five aura. Oh yeah. Please. At least you dodged the chain reel. Did he? Oh, he improvised it out on his turn to put it back into his hand, though. That's. Even if it gets dodged, it goes back to your hand, and you can try again. That's really clever. So, do we see the forward movement? Uh, he had to focus first. This is aura was locked. It looks like oh, he just ended his turn. That's fair. He actually could have dumped his uh, reaction into that again. It felt like he could have just went forward and hit with a four five. Did he think just his, get his, he took his basic on that? He did another move forward on the purple act advancing. Uh, yeah. Interesting seeing this route. often used, but Kiki I think is uh, pretty good to go along the full route. Mm. I think you're onto it, yeah. That, that's probably why he's trying to build towards Swaying Flame so hard right now. Okay, he'll strike a 2-1 attack. I expect Aura since moving forward is the game, yeah. <laughs> Not to mention that Tokyo doesn't really care how full your aura is. Generally, but there's the two two that dodged. Yep. Brandish. You're sitting here, kind of holding glancing strike for the next reshuffle. <laughs> it looks like he's playing around the dash two attack, which is fair because forty six did set himself up for drawing a throughout. It looks like he didn't draw it. He 
here's the flurry of one attacks. Yeah, so this is probably going to be the will to shower of petals if we are right about him. If you're right about him going for the yellow act. Let's see. It's not. Okay. Arrow effects. Go. Means he's going green path, I suppose? Uh, yeah. The, it looks like he wants to go to the six green spot. It's fairly good since. Yes, yeah, it makes your... conception of 3 1. 3 1 global range, and you get to move after. Okay, looks like he's ending his turn there. I wonder how purple on the life. Right, because she took the one. Okay, so this completes the plot this turn. A 3-1 attack. And he's probably going to hold his glancing strike for the reshuffle. That glancing strike or a polite return? That is glancing strike this time. I know, the art is so similar, if not identical. Seems to really want to be aggressive here. That I suppose it's also fair. He could, if he just focuses once, he doesn't have to play around swaying flame anymore. There it is. So in full kiss, you can safely ignore swing. Mind them that the plot completed last turn. So what can you do here as he... Did he had nothing in his discard pile, did he? Or... Right, he had nothing in his discard. So the green spot does nothing. You just move forward and hit a chain wheel, I guess? Yeah, just menace him with your one aura attacks. Guarding the dash to attack again. This thing. Well, perhaps we're seeing a sort of tap all the resources, then you can't retreat any more strategy. That's actually a fun strategy, yeah. That's a good clinch tactic. Then purple will have to. Yeah, he'll be very sorely tempted to burn his flare just to create more room. Which will play into the four. Uh he has Sukikage Crush. <laughs> Sukikage Crush for Shadow. It's <laughs> a very sad play. Well, if he knows he's playing into the special, which he I'm sure he suspects it. But then again, why would he bring that if he thought he was just playing into Kanae's special? You should be able to hit a dancing strike here again if you use song and dance and your opponents block that. 
Life aura, please. The problem with glancing strike here is that it keeps everything locked down still. Because that that life damage is just gonna go straight to flare. Pretty soon he won't even have anything to bring into his aura. I still think it's the best you got, since your other choice is sitting here and doing nothing while well, yeah. well, wait for all the health to disappear. And I really believe you should play far more aggressively against Noe Yukihi. Yeah, I think Polite Return is definitely good here. Oh, no. Well, you can see it right now. We retreat into song and into nothing. Oh. All right. Okay. Do you retreat into nothing? Oh, pretty soon. Pretty soon there'll be no way to avoid this <laughs> this pierce. <laughs> You'll have what to play a special. Is, Hanoi kinda can't ever die to fatigue damage. Oh, because, because that, you get one bigger per turn and you keep regaining your 1-1. One, one. That 1-1 one, one keeps returning to your deck, so you can't just sit there and wait for the opponent to die. No shadow. This is amazing. Uh, he's he's going for the something. Literally is... can't back up anymore. Okay, this is probably going to life just to maintain the lock. I mean, Brandish should make two shadow, right? I would imagine. He's scared of the reaction again. Uh, you can still have to play it. Oh, sweet mana from Aura. Here comes two recovers from Vigor. I wonder if you would even consider taking that to life so you can maintain the zero shadow. Oh, that's... That's too hot, too much, I think. It's already pretty greedy to take the, those other attacks to life. Well, all right. To take the... the eh, no, I take that back. Taking a 3-1 to life is not greedy. <laughs> did he take... No, Purple discarded the play return. I was going to say, did he take that to life? Uh, but... is where you wish you brought a win for the shadow. I anticipate much purple bad-mouthing Tokyo after this. Mm. Okay. There's the Yurina special. Oh, gosh. There is no shadow anymore, but at least you have full aura. That'll help you a lot with, uh, <laughs> with the Pierce this turn. Wow, okay. It looks like he's handshaking that. He's got the two life set aside already. Even you could. 
could also play the chain reel and then recover twice using the shadow from he could create. also double chain reel and play swaying flame unless he takes one to life which he might he's got you got a big enough life lead, but even then you can just double chain reel and if he takes one to life, then you just dip at range zero. M4 is still sitting on Worlds of Stage, but I don't think there's anything he really cares about swapping out. Right, there's the 3 1 attack. Ah, there we go. Now he's got the Immortal Flower back online. going to see it. Looks like he's thinking of discarding the Pierce to recover. Right, there it is. Zero Shadow Gaming. Yeah, if you want to get back into range, you're going to have to dump your aura. Trouble with this strategy is it just makes you more greedy with your own aura, though, because you you want to keep your opponent in that frustrated state. But rabbit step, which does nothing. You can play the hilt strike. Which, funnily enough, gets touched by improv chain <laughs> That is not a circumstance I thought I would see in this game. Please do have your shadow for rapid step. Gosh, this is such a rough game from Purple's side at this point. It's just, I feel like if I were in his position, I would I would be feeling like this game is almost unwinnable. Recovered specials on the opponent, sitting on all the player in the world, dodging your attacks. Okay. Keeping the rabbit covering. Step. And that was the discard of glancing strike, right? If you recover here, how do you get out? You can't really. Yeah, he has. He's at the point where he, he has pretty much no basic actions he can take anymore, other than backing up with his aura. And he knows M4 is holding a chain reel, so.
Yeah, it occurs to me this is exactly the the kind of gameplay that when I go for it, they accuse of me of hating fun, but How do you possibly extract the most shadow out of this? If one ones are great for extracting shadow, there's just it's so hard to take a one one to life. Can you grab that shadow out? And now what? Um Does he prepare a plot? Or are we not concerned with that anymore? <laughs> that is optional, so we don't have to remind them. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine that that M46 is uh, forgetting that. I guess he just wants to stay on the six green spot. Oh! There's also, he would have to take from his own aura to prepare the plot, but... That too. The spot after that is a zero purple. Mm, that's true too, and he, he probably wants to keep his composition deadly. Hmm. Although maybe there is some merit to making it a 1-1 one, one. again later. Shuffling his hand. Case purple is keeping track. He is going to repair a plot after all. Okay. He's decided he's had enough of this. He's going for a story win. E zero shadow story win. <laughs> but can you even prepare at this point? No. Yeah, okay. I guess he's decided not to do that. Or he's going to see how purple responds to the chain reel first. Okay, that makes two shadow and you Wait. pass it to your opponent. Now purple can retreat. Five totals are even so far. And since M46's deck is empty, you should expect the Yukihi reaction now, right? Yeah, he's got all cards unless he discarded it earlier, but that you know, I don't see why he would. Okay, he's pulling it out. It is me, though. Okay, playing straight into the reaction. We'll probably get dodged. There's the dodge. Okay, and then I guess he rabbit steps and retreats, moves back to slash, maybe? Or does he just... Like, I feel like if he doesn't do something like that, then he's just committed to playing passively until he loses. But... He does rabbit step. Yeah, I guess the best option is just rabbit step retreat slash. He could also... Hmm. You aren't really scared of anything with an empty hand. And that also gets you out of the pierce range. Or you could just pass that zero range. He has to be thinking about his crush at this point. Just in terms of playing to his outs, like, I, I almost feel like his, his mentality is his only out is, like, maybe he's not running the reaction special. Just... But... Despite how bad this looks, Purple still has a life lead. 
and he does have the dash one kill reaction to close it out. Mm, that's true, and um, he can even use that to deny a pierce strike. Although the swing flame will take the game at that point on the next turn. If you're really certain that you're gonna get lethal before the next turn. Very committed to the zero shadow strategy. Hmm. Seemed like he was get considering discarding that for a while, but I don't know why he would. Possibly get out here. E two aura. To get to range three. And I feel like you can. Is that a glancing strike or a polite return in hand? That is a polite return this time, sir. I feel like you can. I mean, should be playing it at range two. Yeah, I feel situation like. Right? When your opponent's at four life, they're. Like they, it almost feels like you'd have to be crazy to take that to life at this point, but just no. making a point. Yuki he reaction. Well, there are two things that he can react with: either the improvised reaction and... that moves you forward, or in the absolute worst case, it would be an improv into chain reel. Okay, chooses not to play around it and get rewarded since none of those were in hand. You kind of have to take it to right here. Yeah, he still has a special to help defend him from anything untoward that comes after. Finally, there's the shadow. Would you spend your rapid step here, or would you just spend a vigor to flash? I I would. Or are you just. Mm, I was gonna say I would try and save my rabbit step for glancing strike. I think, but. Oh. Yes, luckily M46 didn't top deck a Pierce. The salt. Um, Pretty fun. <laughs> Clint's strategy. I think it's interesting because it really highlights the resource dynamic of the game. Normally, when you're playing a match, there's just plentiful shadow and things work the way they're supposed to, but just that the game allows you to kind of break the environment by sucking everything into your own player, I think that's fun. <laughs> Fully anticipating the peers again. Still losing, though. Hmm? Whenever Purple does that, I know he doesn't have a song and dance reaction in hand, <laughs> so... 
So you're saying Purple is an honest player? Yes. I wonder if he is aiming for a plot this turn. Nope. Chain reel? Chain reel. Uh oh. Oh. That might be bad. And then here comes the double one, two. Yeah. That's Ooh, gonna hurt. That could almost have been much worse. The uh, it kind of almost the same as if he had played two chain reels, followed up with the one two. But uh, I guess he could have taken the second chain reel to life, smelling something. Let's give you a lot of flair to play around, and it triggers Yurina's. Uh, oh, yeah. Resolve. Resolve. Resolve is up. Final blow is not coming. Uh, so there's the 3 1 attack into the, into the 3, three two. 2 attack. You really shouldn't reveal all your attacks like this before things are resolved, but. Or did he just straight take the 3-1 to life? Like, snap, take it? He took the 3-1 to life. Okay. And if you block this to life, you just die, right? Um, not just... Oh, yeah, you do because of the Immortal Flower. Yeah. Hmm. So you have to take that to... Which opens up enough shadow for that you're in a special again. Oh, right, because it resurged. Here it goes. There's the Urna special. Amazing value off of that. There goes all the shadow and again, but would yeah. Would you uh... even play the Polite Return? I think at this point you just stop caring about your deck reshuffle. The Glenor Strike thing and just play it for the damage, right? He had to get into range, though, is the issue with that. Wait, so that's it, a glancing strike, it, not yeah. Polite Return. It strikes again. Looks the exact same because yeah, because of, of all the pink in the artwork from too. From the lighting, King it look pink. Agreed. Been plaguing me this entire tournament. Well, at least every Tokyo game. All right, three one conception. Up, everyone. Do you? Take it to Aura here. No, all of Yukiki's attacks are basically down. Well, three to Aura should be safe, right? Mm, once you, well, no, never mind. I, I was thinking Pierce might be a consideration, but it's not at all. That's a completely bogus reasoning on my part. I guess if you take it to life, then Pierce becomes a huge problem, but. But it's already a huge problem because you're reshuffling next turn. And M4 hasn't played Pierce at all this game yet either, so he may have succeeded in conditioning Purple to <laughs> the idea that he's like chasing, running from shadows or whatever. Did he even reveal Pierce at all? He has not. A surprise attack. But purple has been expecting it constantly, so. Right. Hit two aura. There isn't much of a follow up here, right? No. Oh, no. Funnily enough, I think we might see the. Uh... The 2-1 cancel an Immortal Flower, or 
possibly even be used as an aggressive finisher. The Ikana reaction, I mean. Okay, now he's got a flight return. And glancing strike. We can kind of compare them. Okay, so flight return has got a bluish background. That's that's our tell. Glancing strike is white, pinkish white, purpley blue. Also, another fan on the okay. glancing strike. But... You choose to respect the Yuki Q reaction now. Yes, you do. Here we go. And I guess you just play the polite return. Oh. Backing up fully. You get dodged by that. Key reaction. But I guess you... You dodge it, you have a chance of dying to Brandish, which could be the last card in hand. So does M46 decide to play it again? Strike. An interesting dilemma. Also, if purple can possibly get to five range, he can immortal flower safely without and aggressively, that is. I feel like at this point, M46 just. He doesn't dodge it. Hmm. I was about to say, you could just dodge it then, or shuffle for two one ones and kill purple off of that. Oh, he's got two cards left in his deck. And yeah, both the UQ attacks are down, right? Mm -hmm. he just he, all he needs is a 1 1 here. Well, okay, that's not true because of uh, the Mortal Flower, but. Great, right, hold up. We have World of Stage. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> that be so clutch. What could he grab? He could grab um, staging, or I think that's what it's called. I'm not going to search though. That kind of gives up the game a little bit. Yeah. And you could just look at uh, his deck, and then we and guess from there, right? It's still Purple's turn. King really hard if he should cover once or not. Okay, there's one re No cards in hand at all. Oh, it's important. He his turn back. No, he's taking it back. Okay. Um, have no idea what just happened there. Uh, fuck. Okay. Okay. There's the. He's like, no, I want to move up instead, but I'm going to keep my card. <laughs> Any clue why he decided to advance instead of recovering? Mm. No. <laughs> no idea. Yes. Abrupt transformation into a Kiki 4 range. But the Yuki the Yuki he, down, right? yeah, they're in the plate pile. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, moving up against Pierce. And... 
Moving up against Pierce is kind of a terrible idea. So if you expect Immortal Flower, you can't reshuffle anymore. Can he win this turn against Immortal Flower? I think he almost can. You check his specials again? He has Worlds and Stage, so he can swap his special for something else. He's got Swang Flame. Doesn't have the chain reel to activate that though, and he's got better part of valor, which is a and two one. And can you look at his normals that he has up? Let's see. Right. Well, that's all in his hand right now, right? Let's say. Okay. It's the okay. lethal. You spend the vigor to advance. Throws a stage into. Uh... Staging. It's even good here. Staging has a two one because it's not a purple act. Yeah, the staging 2-1, um, what, what? And then you can grab a different special with World of Stage. Maybe you could grab... Oh, your, your umbrella is open, so you can't do uh, Endless Snow. Uh, your attacks are... Wait, wait, hold on. Can you grab Sensor with World of Stage and Sensor the Immortal Flower? Oh, it's not a red... Oh, no, you don't need a red for specials. Yeah, you it could do that. Red. Isn't could... that only on... Pulse turn that sensor works though. Oh yeah, maybe. Sorry, you you might be right. Because otherwise, sensor would be actually a good card. <laughs> Swear you should have lethal if you just whirl the stage and then discarding the peers. Okay, maybe not. the stage into a staging which is a 2-1 attack then you play the Conaway special offensively which is gonna get immortal flowered and then what yeah you need a third attack like chain and rail just... or something but mm, you've got composition right. there but Purple doesn't really have a play this turn. Be tempting to Immortal Flower aggressively, but. Immortal Flower is just gonna get cancelled. Yep. So now what? I guess you just pass. You try, yeah, you probably pass and then try and have to follow the health strike. One. block the 1-1 one, one attack. True. Mortal flowering a 1-1 one, one attack is not a good situation to be in. And once M4 reshuffles, he can't make any attacks, period, right? Unless uh, Purple makes the first move. Guarding the rapid stuff. Interesting. I think 
you gain more distance by playing the rabbit step than spending the vigor to recover. Yeah, he would be at four range and same amount of aura, right? He just really wants to stay at three range. Cards does he have up right now? You already played Brandish, right? No? Well, eventually, M46 is going to lose this if he doesn't do anything, right? It's just opting for the never reshuffle technique until purple is forced to immortal flower. Oh. Right, here we go. <laughs> And passes his turn. This just gives a lot of time for a purple to draw. Yeah, the Attacks, ultimate right. attack chain. Probably opening with Splash? No, opening with Hilt Strike. One of these attacks is going to have to be cancelled by Kane. Play Brandish here, it gets dodged. Play Slash here, it gets dodged. One of them should have been discarded, probably. You'd probably do the uh, discard the Brandish and then play a 4 1 Slash here. You have to recover, right? You know the 1 1's coming. Right. You either recover here or you lose. Hey, doesn't purple just lose right here? Because mm. he has to reshuffle next turn. So you just hit him with staging into the counterway special and then you win. Oh, with worlds of stage? Yeah. Does M46 know that though? Well, he seems to know he's never reshuffling. Forty-six, you're lethal. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, you can't world the stage anymore with that card not in your hand. You're lethal, <laughs> right, right now. Well, it'll still be there next turn if you're still there next turn. The purple could always misplay by attacking with one aura. <laughs> Oh, there's a combo that's not useful. That glancing strike, or yeah, it's glancing okay, strike glancing with strike. hilt strike. Please tell me purple recovers here. You see one throw from forty six. Will purple throw? Find out next time. Hmm. The. Also, wouldn't have power. Can get M forty six have one long ago if you just decided to. Oh shit! Punch he, his umbrella. He also discarded the the composition. Not like not composition. What? Oh, it is composition. He got mixed up with conception. All right. Um. Yeah. So now he doesn't get that back into his deck. He loses his infinite no retra. I feel like you also could have won like ages ago if you just open your umbrella and then rode the stage into the Yukihi 3 1 attack that keeps resurging. Oh, yeah, endless? Oh, uh, yeah. What's it called? Endless... Gentle Snow? Is it gent oh, it's Gentle, Gentle Snow. Snow. Yeah, I'm mixing it up with the Tokyo A2, which is Endless Snow. Here's the reshuffle. And is there any way to play around Immortal Flower as this pair? No, I don't. I, I think the only thing you can do is <laughs> try it and wait. What? 
Did I just see him get a life back? No. Okay. I think the only thing you can do is just outlast the uh, reshuffle of your opponent and somehow survive their onslaught of attacks. Or try and get Purple to play a special into your special, but I don't think he's prepared to do that. Right now, don't you just back up slash? Uh, so much. You do anything this turn, or would you save up for a big attack next turn? Kind of you don't. Like you, you don't have to do anything because you could. Your opponent can't do anything either. Like if you attack, they can cancel your stuff and possibly get a follow up on you. If you don't attack, they can't attack you because you have Mortal Flower and they die. So I think there's no harm in saving up for a bigger turn, but I guess I other than they can stockpile it more too. But that's like oh, he's gonna try and go for five range to Immortal Flower and right, can't there we go. Game's over. <laughs> ooh, ooh, no. Yeah, if only you could play two reactions at the same time. <laughs> Finally over after billion missed lethals from M46. Oh boy. Yeah, I feel like uh, M46 got a little too caught up in the clinch game there. You kind of seem to be enjoying putting Purple in the awkward position more than he was, was interested in winning. But I don't think he played poorly, per se. In fact, I think both players played pretty well and regarded each other's cards with uh, a, a decent amount of respect. The first half of the game was a really good showing of and strategy. Still not sure about Tsukikage Crush, but... I guess that's if he, if he sees all of uh, M4 specials, he pops that one out.